there are so many AI applications out there that you can use for a variety of tasks. But how do you know whether a particular model is even suitable to help solve your problem? How do the people at DeepMind evaluate their models? So one way you can evaluate a model is looking at accuracy. So how often does the model produce accurate predictions with enough confidence? Ethical standards are also extremely important. So thinking about where did the model's training data come from? Who was involved in creating it? And was enough care taken to remove bias that might affect certain demographics of users? You should also evaluate the explainability of your model. So what information should you provide to a user so that they can make informed decisions? How do you share that information? So at the moment, there's no industry-wide standard for reporting the information about a model. Um, but at DeepMind, we like to use model cards. And you can think of these as almost like the nutrition information that you find on food packaging that tells you kind of what it contains, as well as providing kind of cooking instructions. Model cards are published alongside finished models. They contain information such as model type, version, publisher, and its intended use. So this helps developers know whether a model is suitable for their application. So you wouldn't want a model designed to count lines in the Serengeti used to control the driverless car. Cards also contain in-depth details about the accuracy of a model, broken down by demographics such as age, gender, ethnicity, and skin color where relevant. So for example, a model card for the facial recognition technology that you use to unlock your phone would provide information about how accurate it was across a variety of different people. So model cards help developers be transparent about the models they create and to reduce the likelihood of causing harm to users. To understand whether or not you should use an AI application, you should consider the accuracy of the model, its intended use and ethical standards. It can be hard to know where to find this information, but hopefully more organizations start using model cards so both developers and users can make more informed decisions.